Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas, and tonight I've got my review of the Hoyt Ghost X 2.0. I have long been looking for a bow stand that I can use on my hunting rig. Um, when I've got my target bow and a long stabilizer, I just use something like this. This is a $15 or $20 item, it's very cheap. You clip it onto your limbs and you use your long stabilizer up front to act as your, as your third point of contact with the ground with these two. Works pretty well, it's inexpensive and easy to use, but I have a hard time using that on a hunting bow particularly if I'm using like a stubby stabilizer like that comes on here. This is really my preferred stabilizer for this bow, uh, but you cannot use a traditional kind of bow stand with that. So the Hoyt Ghost Sticks are the answer. Um, and the beautiful thing with Hoyt event came out with this year is this little addition on the bottom of the cam. So this allows you to use the Ghost Sticks and this cam as your three points of contact uh, without your string track uh, and the bottom of your cam sitting in the dirt. This thing keeps, the, keeps all the parts you want outside of the, off the ground, out of the rocks, out of the mud, um, and lets you use that bow stand for, for that purpose. Um, the Go Sticks uh, actually give you multiple positions uh, to set up with. So as it's set up right now, this is in the cam position. So as I mentioned, you're using the cam and the two points here of the stand as your, as your three points of contact. And then there is also a stabilizer position. So you'll move these Go Sticks one click back, and then you'll have these two points of contact and your stabilizer as your third to keep things steady. Um, you can also move these to run parallel with the stabilizer. They're going to, it's going to call that their go position. So you can use that for, you know, if you're going through the woods, you don't want to catch on stuff, or you could bring them all the way back uh, opposite that, just kind of running straight back here. And you can shoot with the go sticks in any of those four positions. None of them get in the way of the strings. None of them get in the way of the cam or the cables. Uh, and you can happily shoot and no matter how it's set up, you cannot shoot, at least you shouldn't shoot with this sitting on your bow. Uh, so having this, uh, having this just on there as an option, you just pick up your bow and you kind of go ahead and shoot it and put your bow down without having to take off your bow stand or anything like that is, a, is you know, it's a, it's a, it's a nice convenience. It's not absolutely necessary, but it is absolutely a convenience. Uh, and so all told, it's a smart design and I really like how it's working so far. Um, one of the things they did this year to make this the 2.0 version is they added a set screw. So I guess in the prior version, there was no set screw here, which meant that this could potentially pivot left to right and maybe make it a little less stable. And you don't want your bow getting knocked over, bows are expensive. Uh, so they added a set screw there, so this will absolutely not move left to right. Uh, Hoyt has done that over the years with their, uh, with their target bows and you're just your regular stabilizer. So your stabilizers and your rear stabilizer mount won't move. They've got a set screw set up for that. Exact same system. It works just the same. It's just a smart way to kind of make sure things stay stable. Um, and what else? You know, they've got carbon legs, rubber feet, so they shouldn't mark up the floors or anything like that. Although my stabilizer is not rubber. Um, and this thing is not rubber. Well, actually, I, I take that back. This part is maybe a little softer than the rest of the cam. So it works well. Uh, downsides for me, there's not a whole lot. Uh, number one is cost. These retail for $140. That is not an inexpensive amount. As I mentioned, these things cost 15, 20 bucks. But uh, when you've got a product built by the bow manufacturer for their bow specifically, ten, those things tend to run a little bit more expensive and that's the case here. But it is a smart, uh, a smart solution to a, a, an issue I've been bothered by with bows for a long time is just not being able to set it down and go and shoot at my leisure. The only other small complaint I've got, and it really is probably not hardly worth mentioning, is that I find these a little bit um, cumbersome to deal with. So you, you, know, you have to loosen them up a little bit, and then you gotta try to, oh, you gotta loosen them up maybe a little more before you can figure out the best way to move them in their positions. It's just a little more um, you know, cumbersome than I would like. Uh, again, I'm not an engineer, so this might not be a possible solution, but I would love something where you maybe only have to loosen it up one turn or a half a turn and you could pull it out and make your twists. Uh, but again, I think maybe once I get more comfortable with this, I won't be nearly as bothered by it. It's, it's the early going for me. And again, it's hardly a real issue. It's just something to think about. Anyway, Archery Talk, I think that's about all we've got for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel an awful lot, and we'll see you again soon.